rights and I have the right to take my decisions. I will not be restrained by the power of wealth and authority. Just listen to yourself talk, fool. Thanks, Mom. But you know what? I'd rather be a disciplined fool than be a foolish fool. What is it? Why can't I be with a man of my choice? Why? Joanne, you're a princess. Joanne, you're royalty. Joanne, bow down your head. Joanne, bless you. What? Why can't I be like all the girls do? Why? Honestly, I am getting sick and tired of the spite of yours. Joanne? Are you possessed? You talk to your mother in such a harsh tone? What has come over you? Is it now a crime that a mother wants the best for her only child? Now you listen to me. You cannot change your destiny. Your father took an oath for this to come to pass before his death. So my dear darling daughter, you must marry the prince. I won't. You must. I will not. You must. I won't. Prince Diamonds will never see my nakedness. And I made it for the last drop of my blood, mom. Joanne, don't you walk out of me. Joanne! Joanne! Peter! Where's Peter? Peter. Um, um... Monster, don't open that gate. What is wrong with you? Don't I have my freedom anymore? No, you don't. I do. Yes. Open that gate. Monster, don't open, open that gate. You will lose your job now. Are you all right? Lawrence, you love me, don't you? John, what, what, what Lawrence, was... I said, do you love me? Yes, I do. I do. Tell me, what happened? It's my mom. She's insisting that I get married to Daniel, to Prince Daniel. Why, why, why is nature fighting so hard for us to be separated? Why? Why? So what's your decision? Friends, I love you. I mean, there is no space in my heart for any other person. I love you.
Where are you coming from at this ungodly hour of the night? I'm talking to you, Joanne. Where are you coming from? My friend's place. <clears throat> what friend, Joanne? What friend? Mom, you're making this place very uncomfortable for me. If you want me to leave, just say it. I'll gladly go. Joanne! I am getting disappointed in you. You really are a disappointment. You're bringing nothing but shame to this family. Thank you, Mom. But maybe, maybe I want to have my way this time. You cannot have your way. You think so? I know so. Joanne, because it's obvious you don't know what you're doing. What you're running away from is what every woman will kill to have. You cannot change your destiny. You can delay, but you cannot deny it. You are destined to be a queen. I don't love him. I don't love Daniels. And I can't even love him in future. Joanne, you will grow to love him. See, Daniel is a dream of every woman. He is got repute, courage, charisma. He is tall and handsome. And above all, he will become the king of our hometown soon. And you then will be the queen. And what, what makes you think I want to be a queen, Mom? And spend the rest of my life uh, being a traditional person? What makes you think like that? Under the circumstances, you don't have a choice. All right, let me break it down for you. You see, we are this rich today through the connections of Daniel's parents. And thereafter, the two families agreed to always remain united, always. Now, it's the time for us to pay our price to redeem our own side of the pledge. Yes. I see. And I'm the prize, right? My life, my future, my happiness is the prize. <laughs> I swear to God, Mom, you will not have your way this time. Yes, boss. Come over here. Okay. You sent for me, sir. Yes. Did you notice anything behind you? I can read your mind. Very well, then. I want you to go to her, tell her that the Prince of Ejagoland, Daniel Otupa, wants to see her. Consider it done, sir. No excuses. Yes, sir. Hello, young lady. Hello. It's like today is your lucky day. I beg your pardon. The Prince of Ejagun wants to speak with you. Why? And where is he? He's royal convoy. Tell him I said if he wants to see me, he should come by himself. No. Besides, we've not met before, okay? 
See, I'll advise this is your opportunity of a lifetime. Don't miss it. Do I look like a pauper? Go Am on. I a piece of sugar cane? Are you going or not? The question is, how do I, Prince Daniel Otumba, help you? You look beautiful, my dear. What is your name? Thank you, sir. I'm Clara. Clara. <laughs> you see, you look beautiful, Clara. Thank you, sir. I want you to cancel all your appointments. Yes. And have a date with Prince Daniel Otumba. For 30 minutes, and you will be a hundred thousand naira richer. Excuse me, I'm not a prostitute. All right then, I'll make it 150,000. I said I'm not a prostitute. All right, 200,000. You see, I'm a very busy person. I have no time to waste. 30 minutes, and I'll make it up to you. You're tempting me, right? You're welcome, my boy. Actually, on my way, I have to. I had to stop by to see Pastor Gibson. Yes, I'll be there in twenty minutes' time. Oh my God, it's my fiance. Thank you very much, sir. See you a lot today. Thank you, sir. I'm glad. Send me well to your friends. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Jane, I love your heart. I love him with all my heart. Don't follow your mind, Jens. Don't play a fool by allowing money and power hypnotize you. Love the say is sacred. My mom has refused to understand it. There is no peace in the house. She has refused to see reason with me. I don't know why. But what is even so special about royalty anyway? Respect, that's all. I know very well that if it's wealth, Lawrence is capable of taking good care of you. Oh Hi, girls. Hi. Hi, dear. Hi. Mm, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> Jane, throw me my shoes. Caro, are you sure you're not forgetting something outside? Something like what? Your manners. Is that supposed to be an insult? I should think so. Can you say that to your older sister? Look, 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 Caro. 
I'm in no mood for jokes right now. We have a very serious case here. Case. Um, if it's not Joanne's mother, it's Lawrence or Prince Daniel Zotumba. Man, it's high time you guys call the speed. What's it known for? And what name is it known for? It's speed. A speed is a speed. We all agree Lawrence is our friend. But man, we have to get real. Prince Daniel Zotumba has everything a woman wants in life. And besides, he's very wealthy. Is that what love means to you? My dear, love only exists when there's something worth dying for. And as you know, I'm from a wealthy home. I must have a wealthy man for a husband. No sense about Carl, you. Carlo, you have no conscience, please. Just tell me. If you were the one Prince Anna wants for your wife, won't you abandon Peter? Joanne, I'm waiting. Coming, Mom. <coughs> Joanne, what is wrong with you? Hmm? I don't seem to understand you anymore. See, most girls will give anything to keep Daniel to themselves. But here he is on a platter of gold, and you're not happy. Why? <clears throat> Mommy, I appreciate all your efforts, okay? I appreciate all your efforts to make me happy and to make me marry a rich man. I appreciate it. But the truth is, I I should have a choice in who I want to spend the rest of my life with. Come on, Mom. This is modern day. Modern day, for Christ's sake. Gone are the days where we used to have arranged marriages and so on and so forth. Besides, I don't love Daniel. Oh, shut up. Shut up, Joanne. What do you know about love? Listen, if you know what's good for you, you had better call Daniel and sort things out with him. Besides, I thought you liked him before. That was before I really got to know him. Listen, Daniel is not as bad as you make him look. You just need to be patient and understanding of his character. Listen to me. Patience is one of the virtues of even being a good wife. So you just have to be a good girl. Call Daniel, because I don't want him complaining that you are avoiding him. So get on with it. Go and call him. Joan, I said go and call him. Aren't you going to the office? No. Nah, no, I'm, I'm afraid, you know. I might lose job. <laughs> Is that why you don't want to go to work? Lawrence, don't you think it's it's time you put less interest in her? I feel she loves me. I I can feel it strongly. She loves me. Me. I can feel this strongly. She loves me. Lawrence. If only you know you're fighting a royal battle. You'd better look for a strong shoulder to fall on. Peter, you know me. I can't love anyone else. I can't. If I lose Joan, I just as well just go to some seminary or something. Hey, come on, stop acting like a child and raise like a man. What's wrong with you? If I don't love Joan, 
I might just end up in a seminary. Then you had better start preparing. See you in the office. I'm sure you know, my dear, that uh, arrangements concerning your wedding to Prince Daniel has been concluded. The seven days traditional rites will begin by October. But meanwhile, the prince uh, will be here on Saturday on a cut call. So I think we have to start making arrangements, you know, to prepare what he might eat. Do you have an idea what his favorite meal is? No. Besides, I'm not aware of all these plans. I'm sorry I will not be available on Saturday. I'm going to visit my friend. And what appointment is better kept than that of a prince in search of your hands in marriage, Joanne? Mommy, I, I've told you already, I don't love him. Why can't you let me be? Why? I'm beginning to think there's someone out there confusing you. Someone who is blinding you from seeing the truth. Joanne, you're seeing someone else, right? Yes. I love him and I intend to marry him. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not against you being admired by all the men. Well, you're beautiful. But whoever that vagabond out there is, I hope he has not touched you. Because you must enter the palace, a virgin. Yes, that's one of the conditions. Hmm? Anyway, um, we should concern ourselves right now with uh, his Saturday visit. I think we should get some red wine. We're out of stock. Get some white wine. Do, do you know if you might like pork? Uh, what about um, um, what do you call it? Um, to get some white flies. Brown right. Brown right. Yeah, I'm gonna make a green someday.
What is this surprise? Ah! Keep calling me on the phone. What is the surprise, girl? Lawrence, I want to show you how much I love you. Kiss me, Lawrence. Kiss me and smile for me. Hold me like you will never let me go. Tonight, I'll give you my body, my most prized possession. Tend it with love and care. John, <laughs> take me. Take my virginity. Are you alright? This isn't you, is it? It's me. Losing my virginity to you will stop me from going to the palace. Take me, Lawrence. Take me. since yesterday that you're coming back now it's not necessary is it Joanne you had better tell me where you are coming from before something bad happens if you insist I'll tell you I'm coming from my boyfriend's house and I'm happy to announce to you, mother, that I have lost my virginity. What did you just say? I said I've lost my virginity. <laughs> you me before that. You slapped me. Not only will I slap you, I will strangle you with my bare hands if you utter one more word. Bloody foolish girl. Nothing can separate Lawrence and I. We've become one body, one spirit, one soul. Can a man separate the waves from the sea? Think. Think, Mom. Think. You must be out of your senses. Come back here. Joanne, come back here. Thank you. 
Once again, you're welcome, my friends. Thank you very much. My princess, you look very beautiful today. Thank you. Joanne. How do you mean? You know what? Why don't we go outside and talk privately? No. No. The prince is here on a private family visit. If you want to discuss love, you fix another date. Not now. We go on with our food. <clears throat> Very well. Send me five thousand dollars and I'll be fine. Too much have uh, coming from a lovely mom to her daughter. How about mommy? Okay. All right then. Take care. Mom. Love you. Bye. Ah, oh, big. Hi girl. What's up? Carol. What? Was it your mom you were talking to like you were discussing with some old school friends? My dear. Her worry for me to come over to the States is really getting on my nerves. I've told her I don't like the lifestyle over there. I don't know why she keeps worrying me about it. Mm -hmm. Come on, $5,000. That is all I'm asking for. And she's asking me to just come to the States. Come I beg, I'm not ready for that. Life indeed is funny. While others are sleeping day in, day out at the embassy, 
praying and fasting for their visas. Some have been begged to come over. I wonder what is still keeping you in this country. Are you tired of seeing me around here? Uh oh. Come on, don't take it that far. <laughs> but it's the truth. I don't know. I choose to go to America when I wish to. I'm only here for a reason, and that's because I like my freedom here. Please, I'm inside. I'll see you later. What's the problem? No, I'm, I'm fine. You are not fine and you know it. Come on, you can't fool me now. What's the problem? Man, I've never felt this way about anybody in my life before. Never. Who? <laughs> oh my God. Listen, Lawrence. The girl in question is the daughter of a very influential figure in this society. Listen, let me advise you as a friend. Quit the relationship. Huh? Too late, bro. I'm hooked. You are hooked? But we both know she's engaged to a prince. Yeah, we can't help it. We? Yes. She loves me just as much as I love her. Law, forget what the butter girl might be telling you and face the fact of life. Lawrence, listen, if Prince Daniel sees you near his woman, I swear to God, he's going to skin you alive. Oh, God. You are too young to die. You think I don't get this? You think I don't understand this? I know. You think I don't want to give up? I would have if I could. But I can't. Hmm. I can't. But just, just being discreet about it for now, you know. Well, I hope you guys know what you're doing. My brother, I hope so too. See, fish where people they chop. They mouths make you not come go chop and look for two too. Mm -hmm. said, where are you? How is it your business with where I am? I say, answer my questions, goddammit! Where the hell are you? Since you want to know where I am, I'll tell you. I'm in my boyfriend's house. Your what? As a matter of fact, my fiance's house. Prince, I'll advise you cut the phone because he's a very jealous person. Joan? I said cut the phone. Now listen to me, Joan! Listen! To
Get me dressed up. Hello. Oh, my prince. Where's the one? You're sounding very furious. What is it? Don't give me that crap. I said, where is Joanne? Uh, Joanne went out in company of some of her friends. Joanne is possibly in another man's house, spreading her legs apart. And she has the guts to tell me that she's with her friends. What a taboo. What a taboo to my royalty. Listen! I demand her visit. I demand her visit before daybreak. Or else, something terrible will happen. Let His Royal Majesty, my father, never get to know this. Very well. Very well then. Arrange everything. Bring all the cars. Bring everybody. you try? Why can't you try and understand my feelings more? What feelings? Joanne, I say, what feelings? 
when your plan is to flush down the drain all that I have worked for all these years? I don't have feelings for Daniels. I don't love him. Why, why can't you try and understand that? Joanne. Joanne, you must love him. You just have to find a way in your heart to love him. It's too late to say no. Your father and I are already committed on this marriage issue before he died. Joanne, please, for my sake, marry Daniel. Find a way. Love him. You will love him. You must love him. I can't. I will not marry such an arrogant, proud snob, Mom. I'm in love with somebody else, and there is nothing anybody can do to stop it. Right now, my mom is ready to do anything. Take me to the altar if she has to. So what do you intend to do? I don't know, honestly. I'm so confused. I just want to run away from all of this. Your mom may be right, you know. Yeah, maybe that's the best way out of this situation. I can't believe this. Lawrence. Are you tired? Are you tired of me? Are you? No, don't talk like that. I love you very much, but... I just figured out this is the best way out of the situation. The corner, it's so bad. Look at what it's doing to you. Maybe it's for the best. I blame myself all the time for putting you in this situation. Lawrence, you did not, okay? And anyway, it's too late. I am not going to marry that creep. Lawrence, you have all I've ever wanted in a man. You know, all that I ever need. Ever since my father died. I love you, Lawrence. Good day, ma. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. Which one of you is Lawrence? I... <clears throat> I am Lawrence. So you are the riffraff. You even have the effrontery to stand before me. I see you've got guts. I am... Shut your mouth, infidel. If you want to dig God, certainly not in the lion's den. The worst place to take refuge is a tiger's cave. Now you listen and listen good. Stay away from my daughter. Stay away. If not, I'll bite you like a poisonous cobra. She thinks you love her, but I know your kind. I know the game. Um, we're sorry, ma'am. Hey, 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 hey. You'd better shut your trap. Especially when I am talking. Or you really will be sorry. And you? Did Joanne not tell you that she's a princess? From a royal household. And that the people that should associate with her are people of class. And I'm sure you'll agree with me that you don't fit in our class. I consider this your last warning.
What happened, Lawrence? you before a man who wants to marry you. I don't remember endorsing your relationship with that Nikompu. And you listen. You listen, young woman. If that idiot doesn't stay away from you, he will regret the day he set his eyes on you. Trust me. You know what? You're a disgrace to womanhood. I swear to God, if you do not stay away from us, you will regret it. I've had enough of your insults. I will beat you blue black. Have you been charmed? You don't get it, do you? You don't. You can slap me from now till tomorrow morning. You will not stop me from marrying Lawrence. Stupid girl, watch me. Nothing is going to stop me from getting married to Lawrence. Watch me get married to you. An infidel is supposed to be drinking, isn't he? I said I was sorry. Lawrence. This hasn't changed anything. <laughs> of course it has! Everything. Just, just leave me alone. Let's go. 
just go out of my life. I don't love you anymore. I don't want to see you anymore. Just leave me alone. Now, Lawrence. Look at me. Look me in the eyes and tell me you don't love me anymore. I said, look at my eyes and tell me you don't love me anymore. See you again. Take this to you. <laughs> To me, my 2.5 million dollars is involved. If you know exactly what I'm talking about, now listen. By this time tomorrow, if I don't get any reply from you, that you will disappear from the surface of this earth. You get that?
dare you, Daniel? What did Lawrence do to deserve this? What? I don't understand exactly what you're talking about. Stop lying to me! Lawrence is lying wounded because of you. Is it by force to get married to you, Daniel? Is it? I will not have you insult my personality. Oh, shut up! Look, I warned you. Stay away from us, okay? Stay away from us. I will not have my wife being messed around by some stupid idiot. I'm not your wife, all right? I'm not your wife, and I'll never be your wife. Get that into your head, okay? <laughs> That is where you're wrong, my fair princess. You're mine, right from day one. And I intend to keep it that way, forever. in charge and I remain in charge I want you to get that to let us go You deserved it. Yes. Someone needed to beat some sense into your skull. Mom! A man, a man beats me up and all he can say to me is that I deserve it. You caused it. How dare you raise your hand to a man? A prince for that matter. Did I teach you to go about beating men? Is that how I raised you? That's all you have to say, Mom. I cost it, right? Well, for your information and his information, I'm going to get the police to arrest him and lock him up for the rest of his life. Young woman, you think you're still in America? Now you listen to me. You do exactly as I say. No one must hear about what happened. I can't, I can't believe you're saying this, Mom. You had better believe it. So you listen. I want you to forget this whole episode and settle down and face your wedding plans. Oh! I'm going upstairs. I need to go to class. I'm working all day. Could be wrong. I get you. 
I just lost my job. To what? Probably I might have underestimated your mother just a little bit. Are you, are you trying to say that my mother had a hand in, in your losing your job? There was no other reason for me to have been sacked. Well, from the letter it says it's a directive from above. I confirmed from two sources your mother had a hand in it. Oh, God. It's all right. It's all right. It's just a lesson to be learnt in life. Just that I never thought your mother could be that mean. Mommy, you will stop at nothing. Nothing at all just to have your way. Lawrence. I think the best thing for us to do is to is to leave the country. You know, let's let's go somewhere. Let's travel. You know, let's just go somewhere very far. I, I have enough money. You know, I have a, enough money to start us up. I don't think running away is a good idea. I'm actually thinking. You know, the job offer I I was given a couple of months ago. The one I was given in Joss. Yeah. I was actually thinking the of calling them, you know, to find out if the offer is still open. And if it is, fine, I'll just move down to Joss, you know. I'll move with you to Joss. I mean, you are not planning on leaving me here, were you? June. June. I know I have nothing to offer you. And yes, I know how difficult it is for you to make up your own mind. You're my heart, Joan. I'm gonna ask you for the second time. Will you marry me? Yes, Lawrence. John, I hope you know what that means. Of course I do. I'm not a child. I'll marry you. Oh my God. You've just made me the happiest man on the surface of this earth. You've made me the happiest woman on earth. Especially now that I know my baby will have a father. You what? Are you saying what I think you are saying? I'm six weeks gone. Benji. Yes, Your Highness. Chooks. My Prince. Now listen to me, both of you. 
This is a mission that has got to do with blood. And your duty is to go out there to the family of Lawrence or whatsoever his name is. And make sure that anything that breaks around him will have to visit their ancestors. Am I communicating? Yes, my prince. And remember, not come back to this house without blood stains on your knives or somebody's blood will have to stain my floor am I communicating You remind me of when I had to go to the church of waiting for my girlfriend, you know, way back to take her out. <laughs> You're crazy. Peter, thank you. Thanks for everything. You've been a friend indeed and I appreciate you, okay? So what do you want me to do? Cry or something? Okay. Oh, Come on! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Peter, I'll miss you, boy. I'll miss you, my guy. <laughs> oh, this is great. Where, where is your, you know, but the stuff that's gonna be there, where is your <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna you miss, miss you. you. Yeah! Don't so be like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Peter, these were the guys that beat me. Really? Really? So, I'm a way of you guys. Oh!
Juan. Juan, we're here. Juan? Juan? Juan. Juan! Juan, we're here. Boy, this girl not gonna hear you. It's not like talk from that in this She's not gonna hear you. But boy, in a different world than I did now. We have to go, we have to go. But why is Peter? I thought you were supposed to take us to the airport. Um, something terrible happened. What? Okay, I, I, can't, I can't stay here. We'll talk when we get to the airport, okay? I, I'm not safe here anymore. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Where are you okay? with your job. Yes! Right now, you listen to me. Listen to me and listen good. I want you to do everything that you can. Yes! I said before that her international passport is missing. It's been three whole days, goddammit! Find her! Okay. you might have some news for us. Oh, please. See, the, the police has no news yet as to where she's gone to, especially with the recent development. But you see, I, I, I suspect that um, she might have traveled out of the country. But um, I have made several calls to our relatives and friends over there, and no one seems to have seen or heard anything about her. C can you just imagine? Don't worry. Eh? I'm sure she'll show up soon. Um, you made mention of some notes she dropped. Oh, something about, you know, me not bothering to look for her. You know, some crap about how she cannot go through marrying Daniel. 
Can you imagine that? Daniel, that is the dream of every young woman in the city. On a platter of gold for my own daughter. Hmm? Just look at what Joan is doing to me. Joan has done nothing but bring shame and disgrace to me. How do I face my friends? Can, can, can you imagine? Can you imagine how many millions that has been spent in, in, in arranging for her wedding? Her wedding gown was designed by Versace. All her things were bought in Europe, France. respects to your best friend and stand the risk of being killed no way oh, don't you get it Peter was killed because of me they were after me not him those were the same guys that attacked me the, the first time I can't go back to Lagos I don't know but who could be behind this for Christ's sake Who else? I let you know that I haven't seen Joanne. Have you heard anything about her? Madam, is this a joke or something else? No? Huh? Listen, if this is your plan to get my princess married to someone else, then you failed. The prince? How can you say that? Listen, I give it two weeks. Two weeks? to provide my princess to me, or else you will have my father, the king, to contend with. You'll excuse me, then. Excited to see me. What's up? Nothing. It's just that it gets quite boring and scary when you leave me all by myself. So I look forward to you coming back. Oh, I'm flattered. <laughs> Darling, seriously. I need to do something, you know. I just sit down here every day waiting for you to come back home. Don't get me wrong, okay? I, I love welcoming you home, but I need to do something useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah I understand. 
Okay, you know what we'll do? We'll take a ride around town, you know? It's a quiet city, though. And we'll see if we could, get, could find a shop, you know, so you could open maybe a boutique or supermarket. No, oh, thank <laughs> you. Yeah? So were you able to go to the registry? Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, we have a date for next week, Friday. Good. Good. Yes. Good. Yes. Maybe that's great. I can't wait to have you all to myself. Well, but you have me all to yourself already, don't you? Yes, baby, but the state doesn't know that yet. Mm -hmm. I love you, Lawrence. Yeah, baby. Love you too. Because I'm hungry. Don't worry, I'm with you special. Really? Come with me. Can a beautiful girl like you into a man's corner? And what business of yours is it? <laughs> you Nigerians, you don't mind your business. Excuse me. You're not a Nigerian? Oh, good. What a question. You don't look too good. Not with people like you around me. You lack manners and respect for women. Hmm. Have we met before now? Of course not. But I don't need a Sutea to tell me. Very well then. Um, I am the famous Prince Daniels or Tumba Daniels. Um, they sell my bodyguards. Mm -hmm. And I am Princess Carol Williams, daughter of the Nigerian ambassador to the United States of America. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, I would really like to know you. I want to get to meet you again. I mean, get to know you better. So, how about a lunch? Any place of your choice? Sheraton? Macon? Not necessary. Not necessary. I don't think I have time for that. Please. You don't have to beg me. Anyway, what time is it? A minute after 10. Are you serious? Oh my god. I have an appointment with the governor. Oh, please. Oh, and my driver asked him to go get me for. Oh, please, I have to go in. Um, hold on. Um, in that case, oh, this is my card. Mm -hmm. 
You can call me any time, any day. Oh, no problem. Any day. Oh, okay. Um, remember, keep your dead with the prince. Okay, oh, see you some other time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> make your choice. I'm in a happy mood. Come make something good. Make your choice. Pick anything. Anything you want. Make it. Make it. Make it. Make it. taking a walk to the gas station. My driver is over there waiting for me. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, very well then. Get into the car and oh, drop you off. No, Daniels, please. Don't bother me. I'll just walk. Why? Please. If I need a car, all I need to do is ask my driver to come pick me. And besides, I can jump a bike when I want to, take a bus if I wish to. My dear, I've seen world. I'm not freaked at it. Got it, All right, and um, let's say you don't forget my appointment. Oh, of course not. I'll call you. You have a date with the prince. Yeah, of course. Don't fail me. Promise then. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Caro. <clears throat> hey, what's up? You're back. <sighs> Where on earth are you going to? You've been making up for the past years. Really? I didn't even know that. Well, I have a message from my uncle, from my mother. And you know how it is. I have to look good. Else, we'll call my mother and tell them that I'm suffering here in Nigeria. I mean, I don't want to join them over there. <laughs> You're a very lucky girl, you know. What you are running from is what we are praying for. Oh. My, dear. my dear, if you get there, you won't be tired of staying there. You know, I've been to key places like London, Asia, and some parts of Europe. But my dear, there's no place like home. Yeah, I know, but I'll still want to travel out someday. 
Oh, my dear, you will. Or are you not my friend? Of course I am. Don't worry. When next I'm going now, make her and for us to go together. Oh, please, please. Spare me all those your empty promises. How many times have you told me that? Don't worry, this time I promise. Cross my heart. How do I look? Very sweet. Thank you. Yeah, just a little bit here now. I know. Make you just carry me good things. It's a thing you can work out, but it's a little bit now. No, the money I go pay you. Oh, yes, no money now. So, what you going to talk about? Okay, okay, okay. For just this time, it's 150 now. For 18? Yeah, for 18. Yeah, now 18 I have to pay. I don't know. 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 I don't know.
child. What do we have here? How are you? Splendid. Mm. You're welcome to my little heaven. Mm. Thank you. So what do I offer you? Uh, nothing. Nothing? I was actually on my way to the airport. And since I had told you I was going to come see you, I said to just hop in and say hi. Oh, that was thoughtful of you. Jokes, Stop. get her a bottle of champagne. Okay. No, Jokes, don't bother. Like I said, I have a local flight to catch for 4 p.m. No, no, don't tell me you're leaving. <laughs> but of course I am. I have a business appointment for 4 p.m. And I wouldn't want to miss it for anything. Come here. What will it cost I, friend Daniel Otumba, to stop you from going to Abuja? Nothing. Okay, let's see. Um, I'll spend my Sunday here with you in Lagos on one condition. That my first class return ticket from Abuja will be on you. What do you think? Your first class return ticket. Consider it done. All right then. See ya on Sunday. Um, please ask the boys to get me a car. Why didn't you come with your car? Never mind. You wouldn't understand. I need a car now. Okay, hold on. Um, go and drop her off to the airport. Oh, uh, no. I don't want to go in your car. I need a cab. You know something? There is one special thing about you that I can't really figure out. Please, see you some other time.
James. Hey, how are you? How are you? Um, I've been trying the James number and um, it's been ringing, but he's not picking up the, call, the phone. Okay, you know what? Tell him that I won't be able to make it today. Uh, my wife just got delivered of a baby boy. <laughs> yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, amen, amen, amen. Ah, am I happy or am I happy? Hmm. Over happiness, my brother. Over happiness. Man, we thank God now. We thank God. We thank God. So, how far? Eh, yes, so tell him that, eh? Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. And no problem. No problem. Sorry, ma'am. I've been very busy lately. Well, ma I understand how these things are. Yes, ma'am. I heard you've been sick. I've meant to come check up on you. I'm getting better by the day. I'm getting better. It's just that um, it hasn't been easy without Joanne. Life has been empty. I understand how you feel, ma'am. You know those things. Well, I in a hurry. I'll get to uh, Carol? Yes, ma'am. You mean you haven't heard anything about your friend? No, ma'am. I haven't. And you never bothered? I'm really sorry about that. Mm. The price I have to pay for being very hard on her. No one to bury me. No one to inherit all I have sweated for. You don't have to go into all that now. At least think about your health. What is there to live for? <laughs> what is there to live for? You know you were in support of me then, weren't you? I was. At least back then, I thought you were doing the best thing for her. I thought so, too. But I was blinded by my desire that I never realized that you were scheming to get Daniel all for yourself. Excuse me? I won't have you talk to me like that. Blind bastard. Oh, you can talk to me the way you want now, Carol. But remember, no one steps on the tail of the lion and gets away with it. <laughs> the rantings of a drowning woman. Enjoy it while it lasts. Let's see how far the boat will carry.
Oh, caramba, amor! Não! Mamá, hey! Oh, no. oh, hey. Oh, no! Thank you! Mama, how are you? I'm fine, my daughter. Hey. I've been receiving all the money you've been sending to me recently. Forget that one, it's not okay, Mama. Uh, what about blessing and peace? Oh, they went to the stream to fetch water. Come inside, oh. let me prepare with Falco and uh, Mama, rice help. for you. Help so, me. how is the city? The city is getting better than you do. Is that so? Mama, my daughter. The prince of Ijeguland wants to marry me. Hey! Chineke, can I go? Taking care of mommy. Eh? Did you take care of mommy? Uh oh. What is wrong with mommy? What is wrong with mommy? Sweetie. Hello. Tell mommy hello. Mm. I miss you. Sweetie, but you have a home now. Baby, okay, okay, let me take baby out and I'll come back, okay? Okay, yeah, come back, take it, daddy, take it out. Alright, choo 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 choo, oops, choo 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 choo. I know my mom did terrible things back then, but it's all in the past now. You have such a forgiving spirit. I know how you feel, sweetheart. But you have me now, and you have Junior. And my mom is all by herself. She's abandoned. She's alone. It didn't seem like she wanted you around her. Not with the way she treated you back then. Please, let's not talk about this again, okay? Clarence, do me this one favor. Let me see her again. Please. No. Why do you have a problem with me reconciling with my mom? Why? I just want to see her. You need me. Fine. She needs me too. She's my mother. Your mother reminds me of the past. Now that's one thing I don't want to be reminded of. Okay? The past brings bad memories. Your mom is too powerful and too strong. I can't fight her. You're not going to fight anyone. Nobody's asking you to fight anybody. I just want to see my mom. Who I think or who I'm sure wants to see me too. I don't think you should see her. Fine. If you don't want me to see my mom, can we at least meet your people? What, what, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I have told you times without number that my family disowned me because they felt I am the black sheep of the family. Now why would I want to see them? Why? I no longer want any discussion along this line again. Period.
Hello. Who is this? Mommy. It's me. It's Joan, your daughter. Jo Joan? My, my daughter? My, my, my daughter? I, I, are you okay? Calm down, Mommy. Take it easy. Where, where are you? You're alive? Oh my God. I, 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 I want to see you. Are, you. are you okay? Oh God, I can't believe this. I'll answer your questions one at a time. Joan! It's so good to hear your voice. Oh God, Mommy. I'm so happy to know you're okay. I was worried. I hope you're forgiving me, Mom. Joanne, Joanne, just come home. Come to your home, Joanne. Joanne, my life has been empty without you. Come back, baby, please. I have a home now. But don't worry, I'll come and see you soon. I promise. Joanne, Joanne, where are you? Hmm? Mommy, calm down. I'll tell you all about it later. And you have a grandson who's eager to meet you. A, a, a grandson? Are, are you married? Yes, Mom. And we're all fine. Oh, Joan. Joan, I, I, I am sorry about everything that happened. Please forgive me, okay? You know you never give me a chance to apologize. Please forgive me. You know, when I got the shocking news about Lawrence, I... Hello? 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 Hello, mommy? Hello? Hello? this kind of inner glory that makes me want to know you more. So I've been thinking, will Carol Williams, the daughter of the Nigerian ambassador to the United States of America, marry the most famous prince in the whole world? Prince Daniels Otumba Daniels of Ejagoland. Oh my god. I can't believe this. So yeah, you have my word for it. Of course I will marry you. Of course I will. Very well then. From this moment or worse. Even before meeting His Majesty, my father, I hereby pronounce you the new princess of Ejagoland.
Jane. Jane, it's so good to see you. What are you doing here? Um, actually, I came to see an uncle here. Okay. But I should be going back to Lagos tomorrow. Okay. Oh, God. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thank but, you. Joan, it's not fair. You just forgot everybody like that. Not even a single phone call. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I... <sighs> I lost my phone, you know? It's, it's a long story. It's all right. How is Carol? Carol? Do you believe Carol is engaged to be married to Prince Daniels? Are you serious? Very serious. She has even moved in with him. This is beautiful. Daniels will melt if he sees you in this. Penny for your thoughts. Huh? Oh. I'm sorry. My mind was fine. What did you say? Definitely not by what I was saying. What is it this time? Nothing, nothing in particular, just different things. Juan, I know you too well. Don't tell me you haven't gotten over this phobia of yours. Daniels will make a good husband. At least one I know I wouldn't mind having. Daniel is full of himself and arrogant, okay? Look at the other side of it. He is rich, handsome, and very influential. And worst of all, he is dying to have you as a wife. Well, I'm not dying to have him as my husband. Lawrence is so nice. He's so caring. He's so... Oh, I can't believe this. Are you out of your mind? I thought that affair was just sowing wild oats before you say I do to Daniels. Well, it's not. Look, Carol, I've, I've fallen in love with Lawrence, okay? I'm in love with him. <laughs> oh, good. I think you need to have your head examined. Don't tell me you are leaving Daniels for a good for nothing, no life. No, no. I will not take that from you, okay? That Lawrence is not rich and influential doesn't make him less of a man. Sorry, you. You don't understand it, do you? I love Lawrence. I can't get him out of my system. Then we'll have to flush him out, won't we? It's a funny world. Yeah, my dear, it is. It is. Jane, I'm sorry about Peter. I'm sorry we didn't come to pay our last respects. I'm sorry. Man, it was really painful. Most especially for Lawrence's parents, as it was their only son. Jane, Lawrence is fine and well. Okay? What are you talking about? I mean, Carol and I, we are the one that deposited Lawrence and Peter's remains at, at the mortuary before we called on their parents. What are you talking about? Exactly what I just said now. I said, Caro and I deposited their remains in the mortuary before we called on their parents. Stop, stop, stop. I never knew you've not heard about it now. Hear about what? For real. Jane, what the hell are you saying? For God's sake. Don't say anyone. What are you trying to tell me? Huh? Oh, no. Jane, what are you doing?
Juan! 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 Dan, don't you understand what I'm saying? I've been living with a ghost for the past three years, Jerry. Oh my God. I've had strange tales like this, but honestly, I don't understand it myself. God, he must have truly loved you. I can't continue like this. <laughs> Where to? Jane, I, I, I don't... I need some fresh air, alright? I, I don't know. I mean, I'll just take a drive around town. I'm going crazy. Okay, okay. Just take care of yourself, alright? You just have to listen to me. Just... Tell that to the devil in hell. Don't you listen?
Love always been 